Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com, how to make your own nautical fish shaped bathroom step stool. Now these nautical step stools are perfect for toddlers who are usually unable to quite reach the sink and they add a real nice nautical touch to any waterfront or nautical themed home. Very, very easy project to make. We're going to start out uh, with some uh, or a piece of 1x4. I've cut a 15 degree angle on either side of that. We have two additional pieces of 1x4 uh, also uh, with a 15 degree angle as illustrated and this is going to form uh, the base underneath the step stool that we will screw the top to and then I have two side pieces or the legs again both top and bottom are going to be trimmed off at 15 degrees I, uh, I cut out a little circle uh, in between the two uh, left and right of each leg and then I also tapered uh, or angled each leg inward uh, so that it it kind of met up with the center box you'll see in a minute we're gonna assemble this entire process pre-drilling all holes and then assembling it with just some wood, wood glue or uh, Elmer's glue and uh, wood screws this assembly goes together very easily the 15 degree angles make each of these legs stick out at an angle for a little bit of additional support. And here you can see that that base assembly completed. In order to make this step stool uh, nautical, we're going to cut out the basic shape of a fish. Now we have to modify this fish a little bit because you really want the fish design to almost completely cover uh, that base that we made. So it's going to be kind of a fat fish and it's going to have kind of a fat tail fin. Um, I'm going to cut out the shape of this fish um, with a bandsaw, you could certainly use a jigsaw to accomplish the same, the same results. I'm going to pre-drill holes in that base that we already put together. And then I'm going to attach that basic cutout of the fish to the base uh, with some wood screws. And again, you can also use some Elmer's glue or some wood glue um, on this. It does, certainly doesn't hurt. You want to make sure that the screws that you use go through, um, you know, one piece of wood, but certainly not through uh, that fish shape uh, piece of wood. And just going to screw those right through the pre pre drilled holes. I put together this entire project in in one night, really just a couple of hours, with with the exception of the painting. The painting you have to let dry a little bit in between. I then went back into the garage uh, and used a uh, disc sander. I'm using a, a flap wheel, sanding wheel on it, uh, just to smooth out all of the edges and to round over all of the edges of that fish shape. I'm also going to use that same disc uh, sander uh, to make some grooves in the tail fin um, as well as the, uh, the dorsal and the pectoral fins. You can see the fin starting to shape now and then I'm just going to curve um, or round over all of those sharp edges. You don't want to completely round out the fish because it's a step stool. You want the majority of the fish to be kind of flat. I'm also going to use a uh, Dremel grinder with a cutoff wheel in it and I use this just to uh, to make the mouth, the, the slot for the mouth, as well as to carve a thin line uh, for the gills of the fish. Just adding a little texture to the design. And you can use that same Dremel tool to add a little bit of texture to each of the fins, you know, create some additional lines uh, on each of those fins. Really just use your own artistic uh, creativity here. You know, most of this is going to be painted, but you will see some of that texture uh, through the paint. I created a hole for the eye just by drilling partially through uh, the wood with a speed bore. You can use any size that you want that, that you think looks good. Once it's all done, you can sand over uh, all of the uh, sharp edges of the wood or the corners. And then I just use some caulk uh, to fill in all of the corners as well as fill in uh, each uh, screw head, which is, you know, sunk into the wood. And you can put this on, um, you know, just straight out of the bottle. You can use your finger to wipe it clean or you can use a, uh, a small putty knife. And that caulk can certainly be sanded before you paint. After that, you can just paint the fish uh, to your liking. And it's a very simple, very quick, easy to make project. My granddaughter absolutely loved it. 
Uh, please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos. And I asked if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel.